Greetings, everyone. We are back at Invictus Launch Week. It's nighttime on Orson. And it's uh, day five, seven, six. <laughs> I forget. I think it's day seven. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's Friday. What am I saying? It's been a week. Day seven of Invictus. Um, we're going to go check out. I forget which manufacturers have their ships out today. Uh, I think Misk is one of them for sure. We'll see in just a second as we open the elevator here. Make us go down here. So today is the 26th, 27th. It's Crusader, Tumbril, and Misk. Yes, that's it. Crusader, Tumbril, Misk. Out of those, I like Crusader I see what life is like most. A capital ship. I already did. This year's Invictus is offering a rare opportunity to explore an active duty javelin destroyer. Anyway, let's go, uh, let's go see what ships they got. For us today, they're going to be the combat, combat ships. So we'll figure it out. Oh yes, of course, the Hercules Star Lifters are at the forefront. These are the big boys. Now these are pretty, pretty sweet. I do like these ships a lot. It's the C2, the M2, and the A2. Yeah, those are the bomb bays. Um, yeah, that actually drops bombs. Massive fucking bobs that are really cool uh, but let's go check out the oh come on no I want to open the door oh I did sweet this ramp is stop it stop it just stop it and let me in yeah this map ramp is massive first off but the ship, I do like it, mainly because it reminds me of modern day, like, cargo planes, you know, massive, massive planes. You got a ladder, but we'll take the elevator, and uh, I'll just show you up, up top of this. The rest are roughly the same. Some of the interior stuff is different because of the different variants, but this is the, this is the M2. This is like the version for the, or maybe this is a C2. I didn't actually check. Um, we'll see actually right in here. Uh, nope, this is them too. Yep, this is for like marine deployment. Marine, uh, and then they has a proper armory with a bunch of weapon racks and suit lockers. So this is for this is for like uh, military operations when you want have <clears throat> when you're dropping off people. Uh, and then you have habitation over here. Uh, which is a little sparse, but like on the C2, which is the civilian variant, you get some more living space, more more stuff, space for stuff. You can actually open some of these and uh, store stuff in here. Some of these I think are going to be components, obviously. That's a storage unit, and some you can store stuff in. And I think these are yeah storage mostly. You got the bridge up here. Um, escape pods. Nope, there's a component, there's a power plant, I think, yep. A um, bunch of stuff behind these doors as well, but... These are the escape pods, I apologize. Escape pods, pretty cool. And this is the bridge. Um, but yeah, just the, the view from it, just very much reminds me of, like, modern... Modern jets. Um, but yeah, th these are these are cool ships, massive. This is the, These are the only ships that can carry the the Nova Tonk, the tank down there in the Satonk because of well if you don't know you should look it up it's it's a tonk but it's uh they're pretty it's pretty sweet as well I was among the first people to be in one and fire its cannon when it was released last year it was, it was pretty awesome the hill right ahead we'll use the hill as a an elevated position. Right in front of us. Hang on. Bring it to stop, man. Oh, no. A little higher, a little higher. Loading. Ow. Right. Solid hit. Keep going. Next one. Next one. Next one. Yeah, in the back. I'm getting camera shake from you firing 100 meters away. <laughs> you know you just have it over. We're clear? Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Fire. 
Uh, lower, lower, lower. Yep. Firing. I'm just looking up seven. There we go. And the ends it. It was pretty awesome. But yeah, these are the only... Whoa, oh yeah, I went all the way outside. Okay, that works. But one of the only... Uh, or the only ship to be able to carry these massive vehicles and a few others that are just too big for... Uh, no, actually, what am I saying? The Tonk fits in a 890 Jump, which is also a capital ship, but that's a, that's a luxury ship. But anyway, uh, this is a little different because it carries these things which are massive fucking bombs that you can drop like blow up things that are on the ground let us know when you've dropped it Adam I've dropped it I don't see it <gasps> it's dropped on top of the night jumper all dead I hope not Whoa, oh, shit. Shit. Oh, <laughs> <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> well, look at the debris flying out as well that's cool um, I'll do some damage to a ship Oh, are you loading a nuke, Tom? Yeah. That looks sick. It actually did an animation. Are you going for it, Tom? Yeah. Okay. Will it be right or left? It's out. Oh, no. What, have you done it? What? It just glitched me out the ramp. Jack, Jack. Now, I don't worry. We were at Fallout, said so Jack. Well, I'll get a good view, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I survived. It's tipped me upside down. They can't be deployed in space. At least not yet, but and, oh, and yes, the the, the A2 has a butt ton of guns on the bottom. I believe even the M2 has yeah a decent amount of firepower underneath. But we'll check out one of the Tonks because these these are just awesome. This is just fun. Let's see if I can access the damn door. So at least finicky. Come on, there it is. Thinking about how big this is, it's crazy, but it's a game, you have to have metrics for things, especially if you're gonna have an interior. This is the gunner seat, hop in that, go boom boom, driver's seat, and uh, co co driver, I guess. But yeah, this is, these are fun. Uh, hello? Can I get in? Okay. I mean, look at this. I think, can I extend the turret? Wait, let's see. I turn it on. Yes, I can. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can extend a turret with. P. No, I don't know where it was. But you can that turret obviously you can see it extends outward, and that makes a big boom and it's cool and it's a. I mean, it's a tank. What do you want? It's awesome. <laughs> Let's go see what else is over here. Only the military ships, since it is. The military event. Um, Zenith Hall is something's in there, I guess. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't check which halls have stuff in them. Let's see. There might be stuff, something in here. Uh, like I said, it's Misk as well. Misk is going to have the. Uh, should have the Starfare Gemini. That's a military ship. We'll see. We'll see what they got. Again, the F8 Lightning. Can't wait for that thing to be in our hands. What's in here? Oh yeah, this yeah, this is gonna be definitely the Gemini. No, not yet. Oh no. Oh, more. Uh, yeah, more. More Crusader. This. So you got the uh mercury star runner it's not really a military ship so it's interesting that they have it here uh, but that's basically star citizens millennium Falcon. it's pretty i mean it's pretty cool now this is the aries crusader or crusader aries i uh inferno this is basically just a space a2 with a massive size 7 gun that just that's a gatling so it spins and it does like a i mean it's cool it's it's fucking awesome in fact Maybe I will rent this because I would love to. No, I didn't want to get it. For once, I wanted it. Whatever, let's hop in then. Oh, did I cancel it? Sweet. Rent it. Let us rent this sucker. Because this is great for blowing up bigger ships. And that's what it's designed to do. Is uh, go after, like, sub-capitals and above. Not really for fighting other fighters. Even though people tried and then they complained when they could do it. 
it's not meant for that. It's meant for capital ships and subcaps. Um, come on, please. I want this. Let me rent it, please. Yeah, that's the that's the ion version of the of the Ares. Oh wait. And the difference is this has a massive like I guess ion cannon, plasma cannon, shoots like one shot every few seconds. And uh it's gonna be pretty cool. I mean, gonna be. It is cool. <laughs> but they haven't finalized yet, and obviously a lot of other ships missing from the game. Why are there two Mercuries in here? That makes little sense. But I'll just show you quickly the interior. This is... It's nothing crazy to look at. Oh, hello. Is it dark? Component room. Yep. That's an elevator, but I don't want to use that. Server racks is like a data running ship, primarily. Smug smugglers, for sure. Smuggling ship. Got scanning. Then you have both your upper and lower turrets. Bridge up here. Although, first, there's the recreation room. And with a working chess table, you can actually <clears throat> uh, use this. And there's a secret to a uh, thing here. If you take the. Uh, is that the queen? There's the queen. You stick it on the... Where is it? What? Did they remove it? Okay. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Place. I think there's the king. Now that I think about it. Alright. Screw you. Put you... Oh, well, here. See, you can, you can actually play chess with it. You... Uh, but I'll take this. In fact, you're not actually. I don't think you're supposed to put it like that. You can play it like this. The actual grid. <laughs> but here, you place the assist yes, queen. Place the queen here, and ta-da! That flies over. Oh, and the chess piece is gone. And there is a secret hatch with a passage. There's like a bunch of passages underneath the ship. I'm not gonna go in there right now. Uh, this space, we'll see what they do. This like a feels like an empty hallway right now, but they've been talking about uh, having a second egress point. This is the bridge. Pretty good view. Pretty cool ship. Um, not my favorite, but it's cool. It's alright. It is Star Citizens, like I said, uh, Millenn Millennium Falcon. They've even have a short. Uh, like a short story or like a short uh, film, short film on this called uh, Reunion. It stars Alex Dugan, the infamous smuggler criminal person. <laughs> Do you want me to give you back? Not particularly. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It's pretty. It's not. It's not that long. It's like I don't know, 15 minutes. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this place is so big. I just. I wish we had, like, uh, carts to drive around with. It's the one thing people have asked for. Like, give us carts, but then, then obviously people are gonna abuse them and blow them up and you know ram drive over the, everyone else and it would end badly. But. Something. You know, why, why, how, how come the, why don't we have those fast walkways? You know, at the airport, get those things. Wish we had those. All right, Zenith Hall Four. This is definitely the, the Gemini 
star for a Gemini has to be in. Yes, Misk. That is definitely. Is in here. I know it. I know it. It's gonna be in here. <sighs> That's the uh, Freelancer Miss. Missile variant of the Freelancer. That's the Reliant. I don't know which version. Let's see. Let's walk up to it. The t just Tana, I guess. Yeah, okay. That transforms, which is which is pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of it, but that's the Starfare Gemini. Just this is a refueling ship with a uh, working refueling that just came in not too pre in the previous patch added refueling, which is which is pretty dope. These fuel pods you can add hydrogen fuel or quantum fuel. Jeez, there's a cloud in over here. Just shoved a bunch of speakers. <laughs> But yeah, this fuel boom arm comes out, and you can fly up in any ship, dock to it, and refuel in space, like or or even in Atmo. I've seen, I think I've seen people do that. A little more challenging over there. Um, and then the freelancer, basic freelancer, uh, with a couple of different variants. That's just the missile variant. Has a bunch of missiles to attack with. Oh, and the uh, ba -ba 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 Razor. Razor EX, I guess that's the combat version of this. This is, also, this is like a racing ship, uh, the basic version, I, I guess. They have the EX, which I guess has more firepower. This, these are usually fast and nimble. Not a lot of firepower, but, you know, something. So, yeah, that's those ships. I think that's it for the... For anything actual like big, uh, yeah, the rest of it are going to be in the, the hollow viewers. Excuse me, ma'am. Check out what's in the hollow viewers. Uh, if it's Crusader, Misk, and oh, Tumbril, right? That's right, Tumbril's down there. So they're going to have the Tumbril land systems vehicles. There's going to be at least uh, the Tonk is one by them, but. There's going to be for sure the Cyclone MT and maybe even the uh, whatever the missile version of that car is. But I actually bought a Cyclone in game. I have one. Pretty cool. Uh, fits in my Cutlass. So I like to drive it around, but there are other ground vehicles. Yeah, that's the Tonk again. They have to have the MT, right? Come on. Uh, it's obviously. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, all these versions. So the MT, missile sla and turret combo, and this is just turret, and that's just missiles. Which is funny, because this kind of made these both of these redundant <laughs> in a lot of ways. So we'll see what they end up doing. Um, but those are nifty. Fit the, fits on a lot of ships. Good for ground attack, which honestly not, not a lot of reason to use one, but... So yes, I figured they might have this. This is the Misk uh, Endeavor... Odyssey, sorry. Odyssey. Odyssey. This is brand new in concept. Came out not too long ago. In concept, that is. So it's not in the game. Explore primarily, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. It's, it's pretty... It's aight. Not my style. Oh, right. And the... The Tumble Ranger. This is a, you know, motorcycle. So... People gonna want that for sure. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all they got for uh, you know this day. Tomorrow is my favorite ma manufacturer, which is Drake Interplanetary, and they they're not even invited to this place. They 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 threw out they made their own event or their own like uh, show showcase, and obviously I'm going there because they got they got a lot of cool ships that are coming down soon. And, uh, definitely check that out. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's it for me. Zonic Echo signing off. Peace out.